So what if I told you you could become smarter just by hooking up a couple of electrodes to your head and sending a small current through your brain? Or you can cure some pain or, or help you remember things faster or have savant learning skills or learn a new language faster or do so, so many things. Um, there's something out there called transcranial direct current stimulation and there's a lot of studies that show that this works. I myself have been using it for a while now and it might be a placebo effect it may not be it might be for real there's a lot of studies that show that it works and there's a lot some studies that show that it doesn't work do some reading and you decide for yourself um, all I know is uh, I've always been smart in school but since I've started doing this I've had 11 classes and I used to average around a 95 or a 96 for all my classes and for 11 classes now my average is 99.1 and I do feel more focused but like I said do your reading you decide um, in this video I'm going to show you how to build one of those machines and if you have any questions feel free to ask me uh, email me or leave a comment and I will answer any questions that you might have so enjoy the video alright so I threw this together because I know that some people aren't as familiar with schematics and things like that so this is a little bit more visual make it easier to see what happens here you got the two batteries you're gonna wire them in series you can get these little uh, battery connectors at Radio Shack <clears throat> series just means you go ground to power to ground to, to power right alright so then you got your positive coming off to the middle lead of a switch you can use whatever kind of switch you want I used one that had an LED in it so one of the leads or terminals is gonna go to ground for the LED and then the other one will be power out. So that's my power on and off switch. I like having the LED to know when my power is on. So then you come down to your <clears throat> LM317 voltage regulator, which we're going to make it into a current regulator. Um, power goes into pin 3. I've got it upside down, so that's actually pin 3 right there, right? So in the middle pin, you're going to use a 550 ohm resistor, and then you're going to go to a 400 ohm variable resistor. You're going to use that to set your current. And then that comes around and connects to pin one. Okay. Notice this potentiometer here. It's got three pins. You want to connect your center pin to the other pin, right? And then this potentiometer also has three pins. You always want to connect your center pin and, and number pin number one, or you can do it to pin two and three and then come off of number one. It doesn't matter, but always, you don't have to, but connect your center pin. It's just a good practice to the pin where power is coming in. And then current will come out through here, come down through here. And this is the ramp up uh, potentiometer. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. If you don't use it, whenever you turn on your TDCS machine, you'll get that phosphine flash in your eyes. I like to turn it up slowly. And it also gives me a little bit of regulation I can do on the amperage. All right. So then uh, current comes out here and goes to an ammeter that I bought it does 0 to 3 milliamps uh, you don't have to buy one of these if you don't buy one this would be the point where you would hook up your multimeter so that you can make sure that you're not over amping your brain there so then of course through the ammeter out to your electrodes which are right there we'll show you how to make those in a little bit maybe in another video maybe this video I don't know yet and then of course the ground electrode or the cathode comes back to ground and that's it that's all you need okay so we took all those components off of that schematic that I just showed you and we threw it on this breadboard here I know it doesn't look anything like the schematic looked but trust me it's wired exactly like I showed you it's always good to test your project before you solder it to your circuit board which I got this also at Radio Shack and um, that's where the final piece will be all soldered together. And then I'll install that in a little project box that I have. <clears throat> Alright, so we have the batteries. We have the switch. Comes on. Light comes on. Alright, you'll notice a couple of differences. I used a little potentiometer here to control the brightness of that light that's on the switch alright you don't have to worry about that you can add it if you want but that's the only difference from the video that I just showed you a second ago and then I didn't have a 400 ohm variable 
resistors, so I used two 200 ohm variable resistors, and then of course there's my 550 ohm resistor there too. All right, and this is the ramp up potentiometer. All right, so let's hook up the ammeter, which is right here. All right, there you go. We got the light on. I have the leads hooked directly to the ammeter. Only difference would be is when I hook the um, electrodes to my head, of course, it'll go uh, through the ammeter, then through my head, and then back out to ground. This does the same thing. The current regulator is still going to regulate the current to 2 milliamps. Turn it down. Turn it up. You know, sometimes I like to go for 30 minutes, and I'll, I'll do it at like 1.5 milliamps. All right, so I've got it <laughs> dialed in at 2 milliamps, but you see these potentiometers here. What's cool about them is after you're done setting it up, instead of having to guess the exact resistor, and resistors aren't always ex exact when you buy them off the shelf. They have like 20% or 10% variations. So you can take this and you can, you can dial it in, all right? So I dialed that in to 2 milliamps, and that's all set. And whenever I'm done... I turn it down, and it shows just a little bit of current that lets me know that it's on. Turn off my switch, and it goes off the rest of the way. If you remember the LED that was earlier on in the video that I said to disregard, it's because there's no need for it, because there's my indicator right there. I don't need an extra light. I like to keep things as simple as possible and as efficient as possible. And there you go. Let's see... What else do we need to show you? Oh, the electrodes. Let's do the electrodes next. Okay, so for the electrodes, um, there they are right there. Pretty simple. I just use these little furniture sliders and then a piece of sponge. You cut it out into a circle where it fits in there. And once you get your circle cut out, you just take your wire and you weave it in there. It's not a real technical process. It's pretty simple to do. You can see you can get creative and do it however you want. So anyway, so I've got my anode electrode here and it goes comes off of that um, ammeter back here and then of course power from the TDCS circuit goes to the other connector on the ammeter and then the cathode electrode of course goes to ground right all right so let's see it work turn on our switch here powers on we're not going to have any current, obviously, because the electrodes are not hooked up. So if I lay this electrode on top of the other, there's your 2 milliamps, right? I've already done it today, so I'm not going to hook it up to my head again. And I've only got one hand. But let's see. Let's see if we can make this work. I'm going to put one on my leg here. Don't mind my hairy legs. And then I'll take this other one. And put it on the other side of the leg. It's about the same size as my head. Current is building. The sponge is a little bit dry. And there you go. So if that was my brain, it would be going through my brain right now. If you have any questions, of course you can ask me. As you can see, that's not a very technical thing to do. So there you go. Okay, so get out there, do some reading, do your research, see what you think about this whole brain shocking mechanism. And uh, if you think TDCS is for you, come back to my video and you can uh, build your own or use another video. I think there's several of them out there. Um, it's great. You can get smarter, more focused, less pain, better mood, no side effects. <laughs> no, really, there's no side effects. No one has seen anything bad come from this yet so uh i appreciate you guys watching and post subscribe ask me questions love y'all mean it peace